Hello friends, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is remaining part of Markdown tutorial part one. Now in this tutorial session, we are going to do some practical, going to create one MD file, going to write some Markdown text, and then we will generate the preview. Let's get it started. Create one um, project folder and open here in this explorer, then simply click here to create a file, give any name, and put the extension .md. When you put the extension .md, you will find this symbol. This is the icon for the .md file, markdown file. Okay, save this file. Okay, now file is ready, but nothing is present on it. So I have already created some markdown text for the demonstration in the notepad. I will copy from that place and I will bring that markdown text in the VS Code. So this is the markdown text. So first I will copy a few lines of this code. So I have just pasted here. I hope this is very straightforward and clear. So guys, as you know, to create the heading in the HTML, we simply use the h1 tag, h2 tag, and so many h1, h2, h3, and so on tags for uh, the largest heading, second largest heading, and the third largest heading or the smallest heading. Here in the markdown, we simply using hash symbol. To write the markdown, we have the combination of some symbols and some text. With the use of symbols only, you can format your text, format your content very easily. We are not using, we don't need to remember the HTML tags. So this is quite easy as compared to our traditional HTML. Now I have pasted the remaining uh, .md text and now I'm saving it. And you have to press this simple key combination and this preview will open. Now you can see here, so we have used two hash uh, before the text and that is appearing as the heading. So, and here we have done so many types of formatting, like uh, if you want to put indented text so you can use this way indented and then you can use this comments and that line will appear this way. And uh, if you have seen, I hope you guys have seen some uh, codes on the website which has some uh, proper background and they that are formatted in proper way. We can use these block code with the help of the kind of symbol. This symbol appear on your keyboard key just below the escape key. So look at the image. This is the symbol. And a similar way if you are writing some web page and this is your blog website and you want to put some code in the format way, that case you can use this block code fences. So this format your code in a proper way in a rectangular box with a cool formatting. And now at the bottom, you can see we have prepared the table with the help of these dots, with the help of dashes, with the help of pipe operator. So writing some formatted text in markdown language is so easy. If you want to know more, if you want to learn about all those symbols and the syntax, please visit the markdown official website and the uh, blog page. You can visit the Markdown documentation. There you will get the complete details about the Markdown symbols and the formatting. So this is the preview we are uh, viewing here. So you have .md file and then you have the preview. You can switch between these two. Now we will see the side by side preview. Go to the right hand side and we have this button. You need to just click on it and you will see the dynamic preview of your md file on the left hand side you are free to do some changes and this on the fly you will get the response or the preview on the right hand side look at here i am doing some change at line number nine on the right hand side you can see the response or preview so i have added one line one bullet that is appearing here in this preview that's cool that's awesome this is the advanced feature and uh, useful features available here in the visual studio code also, both uh, contents, both preview or uh, the code window are synced with proper manner. 
if you want to jump to one component on the left hand side so simply select that component on the right hand side and the, you will be uh, get the exact place so I have just selected that uh, curly braces uh, for to edit that component so I just reached at line number 34 so that cursor will blink on right hand side so in the same way you can select the uh, code and you can directly jump to the, that preview component so this is very convenient place to work with the markdown now we have uh, one more important uh, view which is called the outline view and this outline view is present on the left hand side so outline view is a separate section on the left hand side in the explorer where we have our project folders so you have to close the preview first then simply open the your md file and then on the left hand side here in the outline section expand this you will get the tree of the symbols that you have used in your opened file or the files you have if you have opened three or four files all uh, symbol tree will appear here so you can simply click on any node and that will uh, take you to the that code portion directly instead of scrolling and searching the component you can simply use the outline view and simply select any node or the place or the symbol where you want to reach at the code so just double click and you will reach there that's the easiness with the visual studio code so guys that's all for now for tutorial part one and now we will see a few more things in tutorial part two i hope to see you there if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help